morning time. We had a great night last night. Next to no wind, if anything at all. Temperature, I bet, stayed at around 32 degrees. Um, great morning. We have a long day today of hiking across. But I think we're going to have beautiful weather. Can't ask for anything more. Cheers. Today we are going to try to make the most mileage we've done yet, probably 15 to 18 miles. We seem to be stuck at the 13 mile barrier. We can't get past 13 miles a day, so we're getting an earlier start. And instead of the difficult route we were going to do to Pyramid Peak, I believe, we're going to stay on the Fremont Trail to be able to do Texas Pass tomorrow. And then hike out Big Sandy the next day. I know 10 to 15 miles a day doesn't sound like much, but in this terrain, it's it's much. It's much. It's yeah. much. It's much. So. We've done we've done trips where we pulled 20 mile days um, in a row, and we were surprised that you know a, a couple extra thousand feet of elevation really did make you know those 12 to 15 mile days were just about right for us. Yeah. So we decided to venture off our planned route that went off up into Middle Fork Lakes and cross country into some cool cirques up there in favor of a more mellow trip that would get us to the pizza faster. <laughs> <laughs> We're just stopping to filter some water and the seal on my filter is not working and it's been giving me fits but my MacGyver husband fixed it for me because he's the best. every day. The day before at Hat Pass, we saw some vast, huge meadows of just yellow grass in the very far distance. Here we are at day five, trudging through those big green or yellow fields. This area of the winds we're finding is quite a bit drier, but we finally found a decent spot where we can filter from and we're gonna have us some lunch. So we're up here at this little lake um, having lunch and the weather's beautiful and filthy. You can tell where his gators go. Gator, dust, and because I have trail runners and toe socks I like wearing, that is yes. five days worth of grime and nastiness. So, decided to gonna go for a little dip along with my compadre, Cody, back here. That's nowhere near that dirty. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how far he gets. Go, 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 go! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, that's cool! Go all the way in, all the way in. <laughs> Keep in mind, Trevor is a human furnace and he was never that cold on this entire trip and we were freezing. Yeah, yeah. And I so I wasn't about to get in there. Yeah. How about now? <laughs> Just start swimming, you'll get warmer. All the way in, Cody. Well, it's not too shabby. No, I'm feeling it. Go. Even though that was the warmest day we had, it was still high 50s. It was still chilly, so I wussed out. And I usually love to jump in mountain lakes, but I was afraid it'd take me too long to get dry and to get warm, and I wussed out. 
Me too. We started to climb up our last pass for the day. Um, and as we were climbing it, we started to realize that a lot of the water systems in the plains area had dried up. So as we crest over our last pass for the day, um, we had 10 miles thereabouts under our belts and we had like four or five more to go. But we could see all the way over into where Shadow Lake would be and we knew it was only that much further and we just had a little valley to dip down through. We were getting a little bit hungry, but we still had some hiking to do. So we had a little snack break next to this beautiful river that was probably only two or three feet deep. Would have been the greatest place to swim, but it was getting uh, colder in the evening and we were ready for dinner and to set up camp. You just made it fantastic. We're probably about another mile to go before we make camp for the night. And we found this nice sheltered spot, so we're gonna cook some dinner. At this point, the end of the trail was in sight and we could see that we only had one more day and the thought of being at our car and eating pizza the next night was really starting to appeal. So that night at dinner, each of us ate at least two, two meals. meals. And that, yeah. was, that was nice. Delightful. Life. And we were chowing down and yeah. A to get more energy and B to lighten our packs and to me it never really seemed to feel much lighter. The no, first three no. days were heavy but it never it never seemed that much lighter. I'm right there with you. Yeah. Anticipation for Texas past the next day too was rising as yeah. we were getting back into the the rocky uh, peaks and lakes kind of stuff. Anytime you have something called something pass on your map, you worry, especially after knapsack coal. But uh, I remember worrying about hat pass, and hat pass was, was nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so we weren't sure. We were thinking, is Texas pass ten times worse than knapsack coal? Or, is it sketchy? Are we going to yeah. need ropes? Are we going to be worried about falling off a cliff? We had no idea. Well, we did it. Today was a big day. We broke our 13 mile barrier that we couldn't seem to get across. We probably did 15 to 18 miles. We'll have to check it out later. Our phone has died because we've been using all the solar power to keep the GoPros charged. So I don't know exactly how far we went today, but it was a long day. But we made it to Shadow Lake, which is just where we want to be so that we can climb Texas Pass tomorrow and drop down into the Cirque of Towers. That's going to be a really exciting day. The best part of the day was we did have a beautiful hike but I had some delicious fajitas that warmed me up at the end of the day. And I also had a peaceful moment filtering water down by Shadow Lake by myself, and it was really beautiful. The best part of the day for me was, I wish I would have seen a little bit more of it, but the sunset was pretty amazing to watch it set on the horizon and also set on the mountain peaks behind us. And that we made it to camp after about 16 miles today, so we hit our mark. 
the best part of the day for me was when we first decided to change our route and coming up to some really awesome open valleys. Um, we kept joking about how it was very um, Lord of the Rings like, but it was just super open, super beautiful. Kind of that um, stereotypical view you would see, you think of when you think of Wyoming in their open areas. And then coming to camp tonight. The best part of the day for me was how um, rolling the trail was. It was really nice to put some miles behind you. I hate constant up and I hate constant down, so when it's flat or some up, some down, it's really nice. And the second favorite part was coming into Shadow Lake. And we came in right as the sun was setting, and so there was a big shadow over the entire lake. So I learned why it was called Shadow Lake. Beautiful location we're at tonight. Raging fire we have now. 